Hey guys, so you think you've got a carboy that's beyond any hope for cleaning and redemption? Uh, don't worry, I've got a few tips here and uh, things that will help you clean out that carboy. Um, you know, with such a small hole and such a bo large body of glass to clean, sometimes it can be kind of intimidating, especially when you've got stuff building up inside and uh, it seems impossible to clean. Don't worry, it's quite possible to redeem and restore that carboy back to new. Um, let me tell you a really quick short story. I had a carboy that was really nasty and it had stuff caked on and so I took some soapy water and just let it sit outside and a frog literally crawled up inside overnight and died or croaked if you will and it, needless to say it was really nasty and became further neglected and algae built up and as well as a bunch of other nastiness that was living inside the carboy. A friend of mine basically said, you know, you really should just throw that thing out <laughs> and just get a brand new carboy. Um, but I'm too frugal. So I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get the right tools and equipment that will clean out this carboy, and I think it's possible. Well, here's what you need. First of all, PW, or PBW. It's called Powder Brewer's Wash. And it's a great powder chemical. Uh, powder. You basically mix in with water uh, for um, <clears throat> for your brew kettles and your lauder tons. Um, you're going to be using one to two ounces of this stuff per gallon of water. Uh, for fermenters, conditioners, aging tanks, kegs, things like that, you're only going to use like three quarter of an ounce per gallon of water. Easy. But you use uh, hot to warm water with this stuff and you let it sit for a little bit. But in my case, I needed more than just uh, it to just sit there. I needed to actually um, get some cleaning and scrubbing action going there. Introduce this bad boy. If you got a good cordless drill, well it doesn't have to be cordless, you can get one of these bad boys, stick it on the end of your drill, and you can run that sucker up and down through the carboy. And it comes with this neat little stopper that goes right in to the top of the carboy. And you just basically run your drill up and down. Now one thing you got to be careful of, and um, this is uh, something I learned the hard way, is that you can actually scratch this as well as scratching your carboy if you let the metal hit anywhere the glass. So you have to be really careful about that. But this, um, I think it was like 20-30 bucks for the, the like big long drill bit with some padded cloth in the end, and it's really great. It takes, um, it gently takes off any, anything that's hanging on the outside. Of course, you're going to also need a bendable brush. This is to get the um, the collar part of the carboy. And basically, with those things, um, you know, good. Um, you probably, if it's really, really dirty, you might need to do two or three cycles of this stuff, and then let it soak overnight. Um, just make sure you rinse it out really good, and it will literally restore. Um, your carboy to almost like new status. I mean, it it took my nasty looking carboy and basically transformed it into a brand new looking carboy. And then of course, after you've done that, you'll need not Ziploc. You'll need your one step. I just keep mine in a Ziploc bag. Uh, some one step to actually just uh, go through and sanitize your carboy. Um, but it's great, and from some of the video footage that you've seen here. Um, it's really easy to use. You know, you just um, use your the the drill piece, the drill cleaner, and um, just get it in good there, and and work work it around all sides of the carboy and along the bottom, and just be careful uh, not to scratch the carboy because it is possible with a bit. <clears throat> but generally speaking, uh, you'll have a brand new looking carboy uh, when you're done with it, and you wonder. I'm so glad I didn't throw this out. So, PBW, this drill bit thingy, and of course a little uh, bendable brush to just get inside there and, and shape and bend it so you can get underneath the collar. And that's all you really need to get a nasty looking carboy uh, looking brand new again. Cheers.